Uh, Time now for some food. Becky XL is in the kitchen today. Becky, it's lovely to have you with us. Yes, mm. thank you for having me. What the Blue Blazers are we doing? <laughs> the Blue Blazers? Is this the whole... The, <laughs> no, the, the Blue Blazers. We are, we are looking <laughs> great. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be making three different things with gluten-free puff pastry. Um, so, obviously, everything is gluten-free. Yes. So, talk us through. Obviously, people hear it a lot, and if they're not gluten intolerant, so what exactly... Does that mean? And, and, and celiac and being gluten intolerant are two different things. Aren't yeah, they? so celiac disease, gluten intolerance, wheat allergy, all completely different things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, most important thing with celiac disease, though, is it's an autoimmune condition. Mm -hmm. So you have to be super, super careful. It's not just, you know, you hear so often that people have gluten free stuff and then in restaurants and then they're like, well, does it matter if it's put in a fryer right. okay. or there's crumbs? Like one crumb can make someone ill. And it's yeah. not just those short-term sort of things like, oh, I've got a bit of a tummy ache or something, which people, you know, people think that that's all you get. There's so many short-term sy symptoms, but then there's also yeah. longer-term stuff yeah, that can sure. make me really mm. poorly. So right. cross-contamination, big, big no, mm -hmm. which is why everything is super safe today. Right. Um, right. So what I'm going to be making, I'm going to, be, I'm going to try and make three things in this space of time. Um, first thing I wanted to make was a cheese and bean bake. Ooh, so yum. You know, like bakeries in towns and stuff, there's a certain bakery that makes these sort of bakes. I'm sure none of us have any <laughs> idea who you're talking well, about. Well, I can't go in there. So you, you guys, you go into town, do a bit of shopping and stuff. Yeah. You might think, oh, fancy sausage roll, fancy a cheese and bean bake. You walk in and get one. Yeah. Yeah. If you were with me, you'd be, you'd be eating it and I'd be standing there like, can't have I wouldn't anything. do that to you. Oh, <laughs> Would no, you know? I'd rather no. go without them. Oh, thank you. But that, that, that's like the that. whole thing that, yeah. you know, people like me, can't have stuff no, like that. And so we really do miss out. And it seems like, you know, it's just basic things. But when, you, yeah. when you're suddenly told you can't have these things at all... So what's gluten-free pastry made of? What, what flour do, they, do you guys use? So, so gluten-free stuff, generally we use, like, rice flour, tapioca starch, mm -hmm. um, potato starch, all different things. All does, sort of... one, does one, in your experience, taste better than the other? We blend them all together. So right. a flour blend, a gluten-free flour blend, is like a mix of loads of different ones, all comes together and makes something that kind of is as close to gluten mm -hmm. as yeah. we can, but not gluten. Is it hard for you to kind of eat out and about then? Do you have to kind of oh, rethink ahead of everything? It's, it's tricky. It's yeah. really hard. Like, we, like, all gluten-free people do struggle. It's got so much better. I've been gluten-free 15 years. Okay. So much better now than it was. But it's, it's difficult, and there's a lot of issues with the whole cross-contamination thing yeah. that yes. restaurants don't understand. Yeah. Um, and sometimes they even charge you extra to be wow. gluten-free. Oh so, gosh. you know, you go out for a pizza, yeah. everyone else is paying a tenner, they'll be like, oh, so you're going to pay 12 50 It's like, well, I didn't choose this. That's this is not a choice. No, sure. You know, no. I, don't, I don't want to eat gluten-free. And in no. terms of the pastry you use, is that really relatively easy to get shop-bought stuff it's, now? This is relatively easy to get in all supermarkets. Right. Okay. But I looked yesterday, cost double the price. Right. Oh my so, gosh. you know, that's the whole thing with gluten-free is that we end up... You end up paying a tax We end for up it. paying so much more, like gluten-free bread, four times more expensive than regular bread. Mm -hmm. It doesn't oh taste as nice. No. So... So, I mean, so tell yeah. you what does taste as nice, you, what yeah, you're what doing are you now. Taking now. But, so I've put Get some those beans, little in yeah, there, put you, some come beans, on. put some sausage, a bit of cheese. This is, this is what we want. <laughs> you're excited. This is a Monday. Yes. This is a good start to a Monday. <laughs> this is normally a Friday kind of vibe. No, Mondays are the day to have all the stuff, because we're feeling a bit... Yes. Yeah, we need this. I know. I think we're, we're sort of channeling the Blue Monday feel here, so yeah. we need to have something nice. So I've got sort of cheese, beans yeah. um, and stuff in there. Obviously, you can use, like, veggie frankfurters and stuff, so we've made you a nice veggie one over oh, there. thank you. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to just brush around the edges of this. And you can put whatever filling you want in, to be okay. fair. You could, you know, you could do a steak bake. Yeah. Does the egg do more than glaze it? Or, like, what does the, is that, like, almost so, like work as glue? Yeah, so with this, we just put this in here, put it on the top, sort of stick it down. And you just stick that down, and it does. But also, yeah. you, you would want to use, a, like, a fork to, like, crimp yep. it as well, just okay. so that it stays, because you don't want all that... You don't want the beans to eat mm -hmm. that off because the beans, no. you want to no, keep no, the beans, no. yeah. you know? It's not a nice feel. And then, so you'd crimp that all the way around, just do a little bit of an egg wash. I love an egg wash. Nice. You do like, you like an egg wash? Well, it's just old-fashioned. It's something wonderful and well, just reminds like me of my you... mum baking yeah, when I was a kid, true. you know? Um, so, yeah, just put that all the way around. Then we do the other one, but I feel like I'll just... You don't need to see me crimp loads, do you? So <laughs> let's... I mean, I'll happily watch it, <laughs> yeah. but I so, believe there's something fun coming our way. So, first up, we've got yours. You've got a nice V on that one. Thank you so much. Sorry. Sorry. And then let's reach over. Delicious. Thank you so much. Those are the cheese and bean bakes. <gasps> so, Yum. whilst you're tucking into that, I've yeah. just got to keep going. You crack Please on. Do. Yeah. So, Please do. So, I'm now going to be making some chicken and mushroom pot pies. Great. So, again, something that, you know... Love when a pot a pie. I do as well. Yeah, when gluten-free people go to a restaurant, 
we don't get this. We might we might be offered a pie without the lid, mm -hmm. like I've been offered a burger without the bun. You know all these oh, sort of things. All these things. Pie without the lid's basically a casserole. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not the, it's not the same, is it? So. <laughs> Do you feel like often they're just offering the kind of same meals when you go out? With losing stuff. With yeah. stuff. So, so you have a roast dinner without the Yorkshire puddings. It's very good. Yeah. You like it? Mm. Yeah, see? And would you... You can't taste Wouldn't know. Mm. So many people say to me, gluten-free stuff, you know, it, oh, it, tastes, it must taste rubbish. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. Mm. It doesn't taste rubbish at all. It's delicious. Um, so in here, mm. I've got some leeks, some mushrooms, some chicken, and we put that all together. Sweat that all down. Put it all down. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I'll just... I know what these hobs are like. Oh, they've got a mind of their own. I've heard that. I've, I've seen many people struggle with these hobs. So we put that all in, cooked that all down. The chicken was already cooked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then I've added it back in. Then we want to add in some corn flour. Mm -hmm. It's a yeah. gluten-free flour, um, naturally. So just pop that in, and that helps to thicken stuff. So just put that in, mix it all around. But yeah, for, for gluten-free people, we, we do really, really struggle just because we're, yeah. we're not given the, the choices that other people are, yeah. yet we don't ever choose to eat like this. And I, I feel like that's really frustrating. And the fact that we have to spend so much money on, on our cooking. You notice, though, and I'm, I don't know if this is what the answer to this is, but it, it feels like there's been more awareness in the last five to ten years. I'm not saying... I'm not saying it's there yet, but like I, I, I know more about it than I used I, to. I would agree, yeah. No, I think, because I've been gluten-free 15 years, so at first, go to the supermarket, there was one loaf of bread and it was disgusting. Mm -hmm. mm. Now you've had got maybe 15 loaves of bread. Most of them are still not great. That's yeah, yeah. some gluten-free stock. So this is other stuff that you would also need. So you need to use gluten-free flour, yep. okay. gluten-free stock. Yep. Yeah. Um, add a little bit of milk in here. I don't want to rush you. Only got a couple of minutes left. I know you've got two oh, recipes we're to we're gonna get we're gonna get there. But your chat's so, so good that. Oh well, yeah. So <laughs> basically, you mix it all down, simmer yeah. it up, and then what we do once that's done is that we get this nice thing here. Nice. Very nice yeah. size. Um, so you would put the the lid on, and then do a little bit of egg wash. Mm -hmm. Do 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 just like that. We don't need to do it too much. You you get my drift. Yeah. Bit of egg wash. Put it on. Put it in the oven. And also... How long for? Because you, I guess that your, your filling's cooked, right? So filling's how long cooked. does... So, so in the oven, these take sort of 10, 15 minutes. Right. OK. But I see the air fryer over there. Do these in the air fryer in even less time. So right. probably Gosh, like seven, eight you. minutes. Gosh, that's quick. Thank you so much. Which is all these recipes what can feast. be done in the air fryer or in the oven, which is Now, great. we've got yeah. one minute left to do okay. an apple pie, but we're I know gonna, you've got it in gonna you. We're going to do this. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do it. So this is like an upside-down apple pie. So we've got a bit of the puff pastry here. OK. We're going to put a bit of honey on. Then we're going to put these bits of apple on. Oh, Becky, that's really nice. Is it nice? Mm. Put mm. the apple Once on Once like again, that. you would not know, would you? Exactly, no, no. you wouldn't know. So, there we go. Put the apple on, yeah. put it on the top. Um, and it was supposed really to be yummy. like well, that. Well, that's cute. Put it like that. Put those on the tray. Mm -hmm. And then you put them in the oven or the air fryer and you'd flip them over. So they were like this. And then yes. you flip them over and they will come out looking like this. Oh, look at those. Can you imagine these being gluten-free? Mm. Can I steal one of those for my can. plate? Oh, my yeah. goodness, thank you. So, so there we go. The apple won't this. fall out when you flip it over. Honestly, no. I'm not going to try because it probably will when I do it because we're on live TV. So it's obviously going to fall out. <laughs> of course, yeah, but, always the way. Um, and then you can obviously, if you want to, if let's say you overdo them like I yeah. often do, just sprinkle a bit of icing sugar. Look at that. And it looks kind of like something that, you know... Us, really nice. Us gluten-free people can't get in a bakery. You guys can, but Just you can make these at home. A few seconds left. If people are watching this and they're gluten-free, and you know, where, where should they go to find more? I mean, obviously, we've got our app, but where should they go to find more um, gluten-free recipes? Yeah, so for more information, Celiac UK is great. Um, for more recipes, I've got a blog, and I've got five slash six books. I mean, so, there we go. <laughs> Come on, it's all you <laughs> need to know. <laughs> Thank you so Just much. Just stick the old Excels into Google. There Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank Brilliant. you. OK, for details of today's recipe, check out our free This Morning app.